Hello, this is um, also chapter 12, but then uh, I'll tell you when I'm on 13, okay? So this is um, Genesis 12, 17, verse 17. But the Lord inflicted serious diseases in, on Pharaoh and his household because of Abram's wife, sorry. So Pharaoh summons up Abram. What have you done to me? He has said. Why didn't you tell me he, she was your wife? Why did you say she is your sister? She is my sister. So that I took her to be my wife. Now then, here is your wife. Take her and go. Then Pharaoh gave orders about Abram to meet to his men, and they sent him away on his way, sent him on his way with his wife and everything he had. Chapter 12, 13, Abram and uh, Lot separate. So Abram went up from Egypt to the N-E-G-E-B with his wife and everything he had. And Lot, L-O-T, went with him. Abram had become very wealthy in livestock and in silver and gold. From the N-E-G-E-B, he went from place to place until he be until he came to Bethel, to the place between Bethel and Ai, where his tent had been earlier, and where he had first built an altar. There Abraham called on the name of the Lord, now Lot, who was moving about with Abraham, also had flocks and herds and tents, but the land could not come a support Excuse me, but the land could the land could not support them while they stayed together, for they possession for their possessions were so great that they were not able to stay together. And quarreling arose between Abram's herders and Lot's and Canaanites and Perizzites were also living in the land at that time. So Abram said to Lot. Let's not have any quarreling between you and I, you and me. Um, this is supposed to be you and I, though. Okay, or between your herders and mine, for we are close relatives, is not the whole land before you. That's not, that. let's part company. If you go to the left, I'll go to the right. If you go to the right, I'll go to the left. Lot looked around and saw that the whole plain of the Jordan toward Zor was well watered. Like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, this is what. This was before the Lord destroyed Saddam and Gomorrah. So, Lot chose for himself the whole plain of the Jordan and set out toward the east. The two men parted company. Abram lived in the land of Canaan, while Lot lived among the cities of the plain and pitched his tents near Saddam. Now the people of Saddam were wicked and were sinning greatly against the Lord. The Lord said to Abram, after Lot had parted from him, Look around from where you are, to the north, to the south. To the east, to the west, all the land that you see, I will give you, give to you, and your offspring forever. I will make your offspring like a, like the dust of the earth, so that if anyone could count the dust, then your offspring could be counted. Go walk through the length and breathe for the of the land. For I am giving it to you. So Abram went to live near the great trees of Mam at Hebron, where he pitched his tents. There he built an altar to the Lord. Okay, thank you. That was chapter 13.